everyone, welcome to Didate TV KPM. My name is Chris, and in this segment of Success SPM 2021 Pecotan, we will be focusing on English Paper 2, focusing on writing. So, students, if you want to score the best marks that you can for this paper, please pay attention, get your notebooks out, your stationery. But first, let's get to know today's teacher. That's right, we have Mr. Hanin with us here in class. Hi, Mr. Hanin, how are you doing? So far, I'm fine today and I'm very excited to share something with our students. That's right, I'm excited to learn as well to score better in English Paper 2. So, Mr. Hanin, shall we begin today's lesson on English Paper 2 writing? Okay, sure. Okay. Let's go. Yeah, so everybody, so we are going to focus on uh, English paper writing and this is going to be a guide for everybody so listen very very carefully okay so let's remind ourselves what are the components inside paper too right so let me show to everybody this is the overview okay, okay. so the time would be for one and a half hours or 90 minutes for this particular paper in this paper we have three major parts which, which are part one, part two, and also part three. I think by this time, all the candidates know about paper two writing for English. And as you can see, there are levels over here, A2 level for part one, B1 level for part two, and B2 level for part three. And these are under the CEFR, which is what we are using right now for our testing, okay? So please make sure that you follow this, yeah, right? And right. okay, so uh, these are among the things that we need to know, which are for part one, uh, short communicative message, right? So for short communicative message, uh, candidates are required to respond to a short message, such as uh, an email uh, and also from someone the writer knows a friend, a family members, and a relative, or etc. And this uh, should be written for about 80 words. So I have a question, sir. Uh, in your previous slide, yep. you mentioned, uh, no, in the previous slide, yeah, so there is uh, A2 level, B1 level, and B2 level. Could yes. you explain to us what do you mean by these levels? Uh, so these are the level of requirement uh, of the difficulties of this task, right? Uh, so the difficulty like part one is like considered like, quite easy okay right for part two is a little bit harder right uh, however ha however for part three is the hardest so far lah, uh, for uh, the candidates to know and we are going to uh, explain more a little bit uh, further uh, as okay. we go on out with uh, the lesson all right so uh, students who are watching at home we will be taking a short break right now but don't go anywhere stay tuned we'll be right with you here on success spm 2021 pecutan for english paper 2 with mr hanin see you later dd tv kpm dd tv kpm hi welcome back to success spm 2021 pecutan for english Paper 2 with Mr. Hanin from SMK Unku Aziz. Now, in this segment, we'll be focusing on Paper 2, Part 1, Short Communicative Message. So, Mr. Hanin, yep. shall we begin this segment? Okay, thank you, Chris. So, everybody, so please remember that for Part 1, for Paper 2 writing, you need to do Part 1, Short Communicative Message. Mm -hmm. So, let me remind everybody about this task. The task, candidates are required to respond to a short message such as an email from someone the writer knows, a friend, a family members, 
a relative, etc. in about 80 words. Okay. So it's not compulsory for them to write 80 words. So there is just only an estimation. I see. So they can write about that and not too lengthy as well because you know the time constraint. Okay. So we need to follow that as well. Remember whenever that you are writing, time is also a thing that you need to consider. Okay. okay. Now, we go on to the next one. How it should be written? Is it formal or informal? What do you think, Chris? Mm, well, because it's a communicative message, right. I think it should be informal. Is that correct? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, it should be informal writing because, okay. uh, as I mentioned before, because you are writing to the person that we know, ah, you know, yes. uh, of course, you are going to write informally with the person that you know. Okay, everybody, please remember that. Okay, now. So what we are going to look into when we are writing. So please remember, these are the skills that you need to pay attention when you are writing. There are four things that you need to know, which are content, communicative achievement, organization, and also the language. So um, the maximum marks for each of these uh, skills uh, are uh, five, five, right? Okay. So the total mark would be 20. Okay. So you are going to see the same thing for part two and part three. Okay. Because the total will be uh, 20 marks. Okay. Now, sorry. Uh, so this is uh, what are the things that we can actually do, Chris? Yeah. To improve ourselves, to become a better writer, because it's not just for good writer, it's also for those who might be struggling. Yeah. But as long as you pay attention to uh, what we are sharing today, then uh, that is the best way for you to score for the papers. Okay. okay as you mentioned, there are as uh, I mentioned, there are four things that we need to know. Uh, the first one uh, is the content. So all content must be relevant. So of course, when you are writing, you need to make sure whatever that you are writing is relevant to the task. Mm. If it's not relevant, then you wouldn't get the score. Yes. So try to make sure that you follow what is needed by the question only, okay? And also for a communicative uh, achievement, straightforward ideas. Don't go beating around the bush, talking nonsense or writing nonsense because mm. What we want for part one, as, you, uh, as I mentioned, yeah, uh, this one, you need to be just straightforward. Okay. Yeah? Uh, do not uh, try to elaborate so much because this... Uh, that may take more time as well. More time as right. well, yeah, which okay. is uh, a factor because we need to write three parts. Yeah. yeah? Okay. okay, and also number two, under communicative achievement, don't confuse the reader with unnecessary fact. The thing which are unnecessary, please don't uh, put it there, okay? And for our organization, use simple connectors. For example, and, but, which is very simple. But sometimes uh, the students, they fail to uh, put the connectors. Mm. They make like very, very simple sentence and there's no connection between one sentence to another. So make sure you put uh, the connectors and use a few cohesive devices. Yeah, cohesive devices like Moreover, furthermore, you can pull that. Don't be afraid. If there, are, if there is more, then uh, it will make your uh, answer become smooth mm. and coherent as okay. well. Okay, and also for language, use basic vocabulary correctly. And also, meaning can still be determined even when errors are noticeable. So Chris here, okay. for part one, errors still can be there, but you still can get a good score. Okay. Please don't be terrified. If you are doing um, like some errors, uh, and you uh, once you check, and then you you it may uh, not be corrected once you already finished. So don't be worried about that so much. Okay. So it's normal for us to do mistake. We are not perfect. Yes. Uh, write this because we are still learning the, the language, right? Yep. So we go on to uh, the question. So this is the sample question. Uh, you have received an email from your friend Julia who has a problem with her friend. So hi, I've got a problem, and I really need your advice. I was supposed to meet Alina last night at the cinema, but I totally forgot about it. It's the third time already. PT, our friends over here. Yeah? <laughs> I've let her down and now she must be really upset. She won't speak to me. What can I do? So what we need to do in right. order for us to answer this. So we need to do this APWC. This is a technique that um, uh, I think that might work for everybody out there, especially the student to answer this question. Okay. Uh, it is first, analyze, two, plan, 
three right, and the fourth one will be check. So, okay? Okay. Now, for part one, so uh, the first thing that we need to do is analyze. So, uh, yes. what do you mean by analyze? Okay, uh, please remember, yeah, because we are answering the question. Okay. Why we need to analyze? We need to know what we need to do. So we need to analyze uh, a little bit uh, of the question on the task that we need to uh, complete in order yeah. for us to get a good score. Okay. Okay. So, to whom we are writing for? Mm. Just now, uh, we, it was uh, meant for Julia. Okay. If you notice, yeah. yeah. So we need to write back to Julia. Ju Julia. So don't write other people's name. Yes, yes. Right, because now the questions are tricky. If you don't yeah. uh, pay like uh, very good attention to the question, then you might write other people's name. Mm. Uh, it will affect. It will affect uh, the mark a little bit. You In know, the because, content segment. Yes, right? the content okay. segment. Okay, what we need to do next is also what is it about? We need to identify actually what we need to reply to our friends, right? Okay. So now. Uh, she won't. Uh, I think this is the last part. She won't speak to me. This is the problem, right? Yes. Yes. What can I do? So it's good for you to have a highlight or maybe a red pen for yeah. you to underline the necessary uh, questions. Okay. Now, what is the last one? What to reply? So as I mentioned before, what can I do? Mm. So you need to give some. Respond to Julia. Maybe, yeah, to Julia. Okay. Some ideas, some mm. opinions, some feedback to our friend. So please do that. Okay. Now, uh, we go on to the next one, which is our plan. Your answer should consist of one introduction, two body, and three conclusion. For introduction, one or two sentences only. Because remember, we need to write around 80 words only. That is not too much. Okay. And also, we don't want to write too much because it's going to be too long and then time will be wasted. Okay. Okay. So this is my suggestion. Body two or two to three sentences must include the tasks that we highlighted before. And also the last one, the conclusion, maybe around one or two sentences only. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, for the writing part, this is the next steps, yeah? Uh, uh, yeah, students out there, you are encouraged to use simple and compound sentences at this part. Uh, don't just uh, use simple sentences. You can uh, include compound sentences. Don't be afraid. Maybe the good one, they can put uh, okay. complex sentences as well. Mm. Uh, yeah? Okay, and then be stretched the word, as I mentioned before, because this is a part of the uh, things that you need to fulfill in order for you to get a better score. And then the three, include connectors or a few cohesive devices. If you don't put any connectors, then there will be no mark for you for the organization parts. Please remember that. Try to include because we have been learning about cohesive devices and also connectors. And also, for organize your thought. Whatever that you feel is more important, you must give a priority to the idea first. Yeah? Okay. Uh, maybe you feel, okay, this idea may, might be more important, so you write the first. Then uh, the second one will be the second one. Lah. Okay. And how we can actually write. So this is also one of the techniques that I like to introduce to um, our students over here. Try to use CPE. CPE. Yes, right. it's, it's an acronym for connectors or cohesive devices. So that is uh, for this one, right? Uh, okay. So it's for C. C. P is for yeah, point and also E is for example or explanation. Ah, okay, okay. Uh, students out there, you are encouraged to use this form as well, mainly for the body part. Because for me, I believe in content. I know some, some students, they focus more on introduction and also conclusion for me. I really suggest to everybody, please focus on the body because that is well, uh, the marks coming from that part, okay? okay. Okay, so these are examples that I would suggest to everybody. Yeah, using connectors or cohesive devices first, or moreover, please remember that, yeah? And also the point, you could be honest to her and tell her the reason for you to miss the meetup again. Uh, as you can see, Chris, I put this in the bracket, right? Yeah, uh -huh. what does that mean? Uh -huh. So meaning that some student, they might write until you could be honest to her. Okay. Which is already enough, right? Which is already enough. But if you're very good, yeah. so you can always add. So that's why don't be afraid to do good writers. Mm. They can actually explain more. Okay. Okay. But yeah, please remember, uh, for those who really want to score, 
this, uh, the last step would be including the example or explanation for the reason that you already gave. Uh, so because she would understand you, I bet she's just waiting for you to clarify it. Okay. Uh -huh. So this so is estimated to have 36 six words. Six words already. Okay. Just imagine you need to, uh, the other point, right? Yeah. Introduction a little bit and also a little bit of conclusion. I think that will be enough for you to be around that 80 words. Right. But if you're exceeding, don't exceed it too much as well. Okay. okay. And also uh, for you to remember that we need to always do the last step which is to check what we are going to check, Chris. We are going to check, yeah? Always go through your answer again to check on spelling errors, yeah? Because sometimes we can be very, very careless when writing. Simple, simple word like her and he, sometimes her become he, and suddenly the gender changes, you know, between the, yeah, between the writers. Uh, we should write it to Julia, right? And, and then somebody, uh, sometimes our candidates, they put he instead of she. Uh, but we know for a fact that we should write to a female person, right? Uh, so we should use uh, the, the correct gender. And also, uh, please check on, on the missing points because if you uh, don't have enough points, then it will affect the content uh, mark mm. as well. Uh. And then okay. uh, the last one is the grammar part, especially because we are writing. Uh, so grammar is always a big part in our language, uh, in English learning. So you need to know about the present tense and past tense and what you need to use. And remember, yeah, consistency is key. key. Okay. So, um, okay, uh, I want to highlight a little bit more about this. Okay. Yeah. Uh, when, when you, once you write this, okay, uh, please make sure, uh, try to use different cohesive devices every time you want to write. Because we have so many cohesive devices that we learned so far through our learning from our primary school to our secondary school. Yeah, please use the cohesive devices uh, correctly and please write well. Uh. Okay. So, yes. I have a question. What are some examples of cohesive devices or connectors uh -huh. besides first and moreover? Do you have a few to share? Yes, of course. Yes, first and moreover, we have... Yeah, I, I try to include here. Uh, okay, so... For... The Furthermore. More. Okay. Okay. Maybe Chris would like to give one more? Uh, besides that... Okay, that, that is also... Uh, yeah. One of the very common, besides that, yeah, or besides, besides, it. yeah. If you are putting that, uh, please be make sure that there is something before the sentences because that is uh, you need to refer to something else, right? Oh, okay. Uh, so that's why you need to know how to use the cohesive devices, and we still got time for you to also ask your teachers at school. They are there to help you, and mm -hmm. I'm going to be here to help you guys as well. Okay. And what about in addition? Is that uh, another example Coincy of devices, Coincy yeah, Coincy that we can devices? Put? Yes, uh, okay. in addition. Uh, just uh, bear in mind, whatever uh, connectors, or, uh, connectors or coincy devices that, that you want to use, make sure it is very suitable mm. to the sentences. It makes sense. Okay. Uh, don't suddenly put, uh, for example, uh, yeah. one of the students, maybe they try to put this. Hence. Hence. Uh -huh. Okay. If you're not sure what is the meaning, please. So we shouldn't uh, use. Yeah, we shouldn't use. Use yeah. what we understand. Oh, and what, what we, we uh, understand. Uh, All right. Okay. All right, Mr. Hanin. So CPE, connector, point, and example. Examples. These are very great tips for students at home to score better as well. But this is not all. We have more coming up next. But Mr. Hanin, we'll take a short break for students at home. We'll be right back here on Direct TV, KPM. Don't go anywhere. Didik TV KPM Didik TV KPM Hi everyone, welcome back to Success SPM 2021 Pechotan with me Chris MJ and also uh, Mr. Hanin from SMK Unku Aziz and today we are focusing on English Paper 2 and in this segment we will be focusing on Part 2 which is Guided Writing So Mr. Hanin, how about we start uh, the class for Part 2 for English Paper 2. Okay, thank you very much, Chris. 
Okay, students, pupils out there, please pay attention because we are going to part two guided writing. Right. So what is part two guided writing? So of course, a little bit of interaction, even though we already know, we just to want to uh, freshen up a little bit of our memories. Okay. okay? Candidates are required to write an essay in about 125 to 150 words. I just want to highlight over here an essay. So it's a normal paragraph without any specific format. Oh, you need to be clear okay. on that. Unless suddenly the question asks you to write in a certain format, then you need to follow the instruction given in the paper. So far, it's just an essay. Let's be clear about that as well, okay? Now, uh, about 125 to 150 words. So, once again, this is an estimation. Ah, okay. Right? So, you can write between this number, uh, which is very good. For us, they give us like a little bit of estimation so we know what to expect, right? All right. So, you need to be ready as well, yeah? Uh, if you want to write, you need to be around this number. Don't try to, don't try, don't try to write too less or maybe write too long as mm. um, yeah, time is uh, a very big factor when we are writing. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Thank you, Chris. And based on the stimulus given. So in the question, there will be stimulus given, the situation. So we are going to look into that and we are going to highlight on how we can actually address uh, when we want to answer the question, okay? So, the stimulus contains a situation and three prompts. So far, this is very clear. A situation and also, how many, Chris? Three prompts. Three prompts. So, in order for us to get a good score, we need to answer all the three prompts given. I if see. you only answer maybe two or one, so it's going to affect which part of the score? Content. So, please remember, whatever the question asks you, please try to fulfill the needs of the questions, okay? And uh, relating to the situation, of course, this three prompt, don't worry, like, is going to be about mm. the question itself. It's not going to be outside the text. Suddenly, they want to ask you a different question. No. All right. Please bear in mind that it's going to be about the question itself, okay? okay. And also, candidate must use all the prompts given and give a reasons ah, ah, okay. for their point of view. So, if you, because the prompts is already given, so maybe you need to elaborate and just put a little bit of, uh, on your views. Right. Yeah? Uh, on the, maybe it's some example or maybe some elaboration. Okay. Now, so, yes. Chris, this is uh, one of the most important part also we, that we want to highlight to our uh, students out there, the uh, aspiring candidates, uh, the four components that we, uh, the we need to focus uh, on. We need to, we need to focus, yeah? The yeah. content, the communicative achievement, the organizing, and so the last one is language. the language, okay. okay. So, if um, if you see here, content for part two, all content must be, re be relevant. Just want to highlight again to everybody, whatever that you want to write, please make sure it is relevant to the task. If the task asks you to write on food, then you write about food. Okay. If uh, the question asks you to write on health, then you are going to write uh, about health. So don't uh, put irrelevant uh, information that is not needed. So, so we, we always write back, tying back to the question the, and The question and, and then the task, yeah, okay. and also the stimulus. Because uh, it is re uh, interrelated with the cognitive achievement, mm. yeah? Because we want to write straightforward ideas to hold now, we need to hold the readers attention. Ah, okay. Yeah? So for part two, you need to be able to actually attract the reader's attention. Who is the reader? It's going to be the marker. The marker. Uh, okay. So he's the marker. The marker will be a person, right? Yes. So the a person is uh, so much uh, affected by the emotion. So you need to write well in order to impress a little bit of our marker. So okay. please make sure you try to hold the marker's attention. Okay. And also, yeah, once again, that I want to highlight to everybody, don't confuse the reader with unnecessary facts. Yeah, once again, I want to use the word beat around the bush. Please don't do that. Mm. 
yeah, because we want to uh, only give uh, whatever necessary for you to answer the question and also necessary to the task related to the task only because there are some candidates who feel that they can write so they just put whatever in their writing without thinking too much of the after effect right right so they think that whatever that i put to uh the markets is going to just uh reach yeah. without realizing that the markets are looking for certain information that they needed for them to give a better score okay okay now let's go on to the next one organization because we want to have a very organized answer right so answer are well put together so meaning that you need to organize your thoughts right and also use different variation of cohesive devices yes cohesive devices is really important just to make sure that uh, there's a continuation of our uh, paragraph between one paragraph to another and we have like the introduction, the body, and also the conclusion. We just want to make everything smooth. Okay. Okay. And uh, last one, yeah, for the language, use easy and less common vocabulary. What do I mean by less common vocabulary? Chris, what do you think about this? Less common vocabulary, what do you think? I'm not too sure, sir. Is it using vocal, not so used words? Yeah. So more complex uh, words? Yes, maybe more complex vocabulary, which uh, are not very like common used by our student at school. Okay. Um, instead of like maybe uh, certain words that is very familiar with them is run. Okay. Yeah, for this word, for example. But there are other words or other vocabulary that can actually use for us to describe run. The like, action, like, it's not just like yeah. run. Sprint? Very good, Chris. Sprint is an example. Yeah, sprint also uh, another example. Okay. That is a word which is less common, which is going to help you to uh, get a better score, especially for the language part. Please remember that. Yes, Chris. So I have a question. Yep. Uh, regarding organization, yep. why is it important to use different variation of cohesive devices? Why not just use one you know, or two? Yeah. Okay, uh, <laughs> okay, very good question, Chris. So, uh, very good, yeah, for Chris to, uh, just to highlight because uh, I was like uh, focusing on this and then we pull back yeah, to organization. Okay, kids, yeah, the students at home, please remember, use different variation. What happened when we use the same thing all over again? What, what, what is the feeling? It's going to be what, Chris? Mm. Oh, okay, it might be a bit boring or dull? Yeah, it might be very boring and very dull. As you know, we are writing to a person, right? Oh, okay. A person is going to uh, read through our um, uh, answers. Mm. So uh, the thing is, if you keep on repeating the same word, for example, the same connectors, uh, this is very uh, what um, common? common thing that happened in our uh, setting whereby this word. And and is overly used by our students. Okay. That's why we introduce connectors and cohesive devices that is going to help giving a little bit of variety when they are writing okay. the answers. Okay. And this will also help with capturing the reader's attention better. Very good. Okay. Understand. All of these are interconnected. Okay. That's why we want uh, our students to believe in us, yeah, the teachers. We are here to actually tell you guys, this is what you can do to actually improve a little bit on your uh, answers and also the quality of your response. Yes, we okay. believe in you teachers. Yes, we do believe in you. Thank sir. you, Don't Chris, worry. for believing in us. Yeah? <laughs> so I already got uh, Chris' attention. Yes. <laughs> okay, now, uh, please remember that errors are acceptable except when it disturbs the meaning. So, yeah, as you know, sometimes oh, we can't run from making errors. Mm. Yeah, as long as it doesn't really disturb the whole meaning of the context or the whole meaning of the uh, AC. Okay. Uh, sometimes, yeah, uh, we don't even have the time to actually check on our responses. I think just leave it there, maybe, uh, but focus on writing the whole thing. Okay. That is more important. Okay. Now, let's go on to the next one. What to do? Ah, this is 
the strategy that we need to apply. I'm just okay. uh, suggesting this because it works. It really works. Mm -hmm. If you follow these strategies, then it's really going to help you on what you need to do, the steps that need to be taken. Yeah? Then steps are analyze, plan, write, and also check. Okay, APWC. Yes, APWC. Okay. Uh, f just four letters, which is going to be embedded in your mind for this few uh, weeks before okay. your examination, but it really works. Okay, okay. so students, <laughs> remember, four letters, A, P, W, C. C. Okay. okay, now let's go on to explaining a little bit more so that our students out there have a better understanding of what they need to do. Sure. Okay, analyze. So, of course, this is a question. So, the first thing that we need to do is, of course, to analyze the question. Okay, let's read a little bit uh, the questions. Your class has been talking about how they stayed safe during the movement control order, which is MCO. Yeah, we already experienced that. In the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic, your teacher has asked you to write an essay about what you did to stay safe during the coronavirus pandemic, which is very related. So one of the question is really, uh, uh, is uh, the thing that we are discussing well, mm. currently in our nation, yeah. right? So in your essay, you should write about, yeah, as you remembered, yeah, the requirement is you are given a situation okay. and also three prompts. What are the prompts? Here. Ah. Uh, this is the first one. What you did to protect yourself, that is number one. Okay, reasons for your choice. So, whatever that you choose over here, yeah, is related to this, the second one. So, you must give reason. But this is the kind of question that is uh, an example. Mm. But uh, whatever question comes out, just uh, pay attention on these prompts. Okay? okay, because this prompt is going to help you in, uh, in uh, what? In focusing Organi on... Organizing uh, yeah, the, and what Organizing your ideas as well. Yeah. And... Uh, the points that you want to include inside your right, uh, responses. Right. Yes. Uh, and also, how you kept in touch with your friends. Mm -hmm. Okay, because we know about this situation, so we are stuck at home. Yes. Uh, so maybe uh, these are the reason why they are putting these uh, three prompts over here. Okay, now, shall we move on to the next one? Sure, sir. So, what is it about? That's how we already uh, Analyze, gone through. Yeah. So, so we are analyzing these questions. So we know the situation. The situation is about COVID. Mm. And also, we are stuck at, at home. home. So, and also, what to write? Uh, please remember, the things that are given over here, I'm making a very big uh, round over here, uh, not a perfect circle, but these are the problems that we need to pay attention. Okay. Okay, let's go on to the next one. Okay, part uh, two, yeah, for the next step, which is on the planning side. Okay. okay. Uh, as you know, a very common essay, there must be an intro, Dachin, the body, and also don't con the conclusion. Don't miss that, please. Whatever that you are writing, please make sure that these three components are there the introduction, the body, and also the conclusion. So I'm only here just to suggest to you that just write around just one paragraph of introduction, but it should be there just to let people know, right? Uh, what you are writing. And also uh, the body, how many? One, one to two, two paragraphs. paragraph only. Must include the task that we highlighted before. Mm, the three prompts. The three prompts. Okay. See, the question already help you on what you need to write. Okay. Okay. And also, the conclusion, please don't forget, if there's no conclusion, then the reader won't know. What whether is we your, finish writing. Oh, whether you finish writing or okay. not. It will be hanging, right? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. And uh -huh. when once uh, we are writing, yeah, you are encouraged to use simple and compound sentences. That is a must for this part. But it's going to be upgraded a little bit, whereby you may include complex sentences okay what is complex sentences okay so you can uh, learn more uh, this by asking your teachers at home okay. uh, sorry not at home at school yeah mm. uh, organize your thoughts 
explain the ideas well? Include connectors and cohesive Device. devices. And what is the last step? A, P, W, C. C. Uh, uh, before that, we look at the writing part, eh? okay. uh, which is the CPE. C is for using connectors. Okay. P is for points. points. And E is for example or explanation. Okay. okay. So the example I'm giving uh, over here, first and foremost. Okay. okay. This is one of the example of uh, Koisi devices. What is the point? My family did not allow anyone to go outside and only my dad could go out just to get the essentials. Okay. Which is the step taken, which is answering to the prompts. First prompt, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, example or explanation. So uh, the answer is included uh, for the explanation part. Lah. Mm. Okay. This would help us to be less exposed to the unknown and protect us from getting or spreading the virus. So. Okay. With these suggestions, using this PE, you got around 43 words. Yeah. So estimation around that number. Okay. So another one for the body, around 40. And then uh, for interaction, another 40. And then maybe the conclusion, just another 20. Then yeah. it will be around that uh, suggested number, to 250. 250. Okay. Mm -hmm. And also let's go on the last, the last one. Okay. okay. Uh -huh. So for part two, please do this. Because what? Consistency is key. I keep on repeating the same thing because we need to check on our spelling errors. Okay. Yeah? And also, missing of point. How many uh, that we need to uh, complete, Chris? We have three prompts. Yeah, three prompts. You are given one situation and three prompts. Please try to uh, answer all these three prompts okay. in order for you to get uh, the best score possible. If you left it uh, one or two, I know it's going to affect uh, your marks. So mm. please bear in mind, you need to do all three. And also the grammar part. It's always, because you are talking about language, this is uh, English, we are learning about that. So please bear in mind that we need to look into our uh, grammar as well. All right, I hope those who are watching at home, you're learning a lot. I know I am, and I know you have more confidence answering English paper two for part Two, but that is not all. We will be right back after this, after a short break here on DDA TV KPM. We'll see you after this. DDA TV KPM. DDA TV KPM. Hey everyone, you're watching Success SPM 2021 Pechotan for English Paper 2. And in this segment, I'm here with Mr. Hanin from SMK Unku Aziz and we will be focusing on part 3, extended writing. So Mr. Hanin, what would you like to share with all the students today to score better in extended writing? Thank you very much, Chris. Now, now we are going to focus on part 3, extended writing, which will be given uh, choices a little bit. Okay. So, choose one of the options. So, we are going to reveal uh, the option later on. But what is being asked for the candidates to do? Candidates are required to write an essay in about 200 to 250 words, which is the hardest part of this um, paper too, okay? So, and it is based on three choices. So that's why I was putting this, choose one of the options. You are going to be given three options. The writing style and convention need to follow the requirement of the task and the, uh, and that the candidate choose. So whatever that you choose, you need to remember, you need to follow the type of writing that you have already chosen. So we are going to just go to the next part, which on the focus. Okay. What we want to focus on for part three, Chris? The so four the things, four right? The four Cs. Eh, sorry, the four uh, aspects. So yeah. content. Content, communicative, achievement, achievement. And also the next one is? Organization. And also the last one? Language. Language. Thank you very much, Chris. So, as always, con all content must be relevant. relevant. Whatever that we write, please, we write on the necessary things that we need to write, the relevant stuff, okay. which is based on the task that you choose, okay? Uh, cognitive achievement, straightforward ideas to hold readers' attention. Once again, you need to hold the readers' attention. Who is the readers? The market. So you mm -hmm. need to pay attention on that. 
because we are writing for a person. So you need to consider that when you are writing. Yes. Yeah, okay. And also, don't confuse the uh, readers and write clear statement and accomplish the purpose of writing. Okay. Because we are writing, uh, maybe there are some format that we need to follow, right? Yeah. So accomplish the purpose of the writing you need to bear in mind. Okay. So if you are writing a report, then we need to follow. Mm. So that is the purpose of your writing. You need to report on something. If okay. you're writing an article, you are telling uh, somebody about certain thing or certain idea. Okay, and organization answers are well put together because if you uh, already organize your mm. essay, then it will be uh, what? You will flow uh, better. The, the, the flow will be better. Use different variation of cohesive devices. The added word over here is if effectively. Okay. So that's why it's uh, also important. Whatever uh, connectors or crazy devices you want to put, please you uh, put full use of the connectors. Uh, so the connector should be uh, appropriately put. Okay? okay. Okay. And also for the language, use easy and less common vocabulary. Uh, and also errors can still occur because it's very common for us. We we do. Uh, make mistakes. So sometimes, if you already check, yeah. uh, also the uh, the sorry, the errors still happen. Just go on with that. Yeah, uh, and also very sentence structures. Yeah, which okay. are the simple, the compound, and also the complex sentences. Okay. What are the options in part three? Okay, let's look at. We have review. The next one we have report. We have story, and also we have. Article. Ah. Remember, now the options given for, but in the question, there are three options. So one will be left out. Okay. So I'm not sure Understand. which is going to be left out. Right. So we need to know four. four. Okay. Now, what is your favorite? Okay, Chris, now <laughs> between the four, what is your favorite? Hmm. I think my favorite is, I would choose story. Okay. Mainly because it's more, I feel like I can use more of my imagination yes. and uh, be more flexible with my ideas. Okay. What, what about you, sir? Uh, I think I will choose the same as well. Same. Sorry. Oh, yeah. high five, high five. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we go on to the next one, right? Okay. What to do? We need to follow this step. It is very helpful to follow a certain strategy okay. when we are writing. So we are going to f follow this APWC, a which are analyze, plan, write, and also for us to check. So in part three, for the first part, which is analyze, read and understand the question. How many questions will we will get, Chris? We will get three questions, three, three questions. options, right? Okay. We are just going to choose one. But okay. we are, need to read through because we need to choose what is best for us. Okay. Okay. Choose one of the options, yeah. Identify the task that you need to complete. Yeah. Once you read the options, you identify the task that you need to complete mm. because uh, there are four uh, format, but three will be out. So if you choose one, for example, story, so you need to identify what kind of story that you need to write. If you mm. are going to write on the report, what kind of report and review, what kind of review, okay? Okay. Remember the items that you need to include in your writing, such as the format. Some got format, so you need to uh, try to follow whatever the format uh, needed for you to complete uh, the task. And also, please ensure you have enough points because points are always important for you to get a better for a score in your content. Okay, now, uh -huh. I'm going to show a little bit on all the uh, writing. Okay. Yeah, so for review, yeah, for example, you must have your introduction. Yeah, this one is reviewing a film, all a right. film. Okay, and then uh, this one, one paragraph. Body, uh, two to two paragraph. You give, uh, give a brief summary of the plot. Make comment about what you like or didn't like. Don't be afraid to put what you didn't like about the uh, movie. Uh, so the body can be about, you know, the content can be about plot, acting, soundtrack, special effect, costume, ending, and also state a little bit of the conclusion. Okay. But that is for review. film review. Okay. Okay. But please remember, there are a lot of reviews that you can do, yeah, for other things that you need to review. For example, over here, I already put, yeah, this focus would be different for different type of reviews. It can be about books. It can be about 
restaurant. It can be about food. It can be about product. So it is good for you to have a knowledge about one particular item for each of this category. Maybe uh, you have a book that you like. Maybe you have a re mm. favorite restaurant. Then you can remember all the details about yeah. the things that you need to remember. Okay. okay. So of course, there will be introduction. Yeah. Highlight on the advantages or benefits, or maybe some would know, disadvantages and also the okay. weaknesses. So don't be afraid to always, sometimes there can be a negative things that you, you, yeah. you can write. So don't be afraid to write because we are humans. Yeah. It's normal for us to love and hate certain things. Yeah. Okay. And also conclusion, state your general opinion. So that is for review. Now for report. Okay. I'm just giving you a little bit of the overview so that you pay attention on the things that you need to include. Huh? Okay, so what you need to put on the top, to, from, and the subject. Subject meaning what is the title. Introduction, a little bit on uh, what the report is all about. Okay. It can be about uh, the school activities. All right. So don't uh, be afraid. It's going to be the theme is about uh, the activities that the students do at school. Okay. Uh -huh. Body, give information and expand on the points you want to make because we want to uh, add mark for organization and make recommendation or suggestion. And last one, please don't forget, state your overall imp uh, impression of or opinion because we still want to get a good score by including introduction, body, and also conclusion. And for story, so we go on to the next one, which is very common uh, choice by our students out there. So please remember for story, uh, pay attention to this. There must be a triangular set like this. Yeah? In your plan, there must be an explosion, a rising action, a climax, a falling action, and also a resolution. Okay, things to pay attention. Storyline is not cliche, meaning try to be special when you are writing story because okay. story can be uh, between one student to another student can right. be the same one like okay because they keep on like uh, repeating the same uh, yeah. storyline that they heard or they know from the novel that they read ah, okay. try to be different huh? uh, interesting characters and also try to put unique name mm. interesting name because we are letting a person to read us so how to take uh, uh, how to take their attention yeah. putting a uh, unique name and interesting okay. name and also uh there are two types of article. Article of place. Yeah, I show this first. Think of interesting title. Yeah, introduction, you need to give general information. And also, refer to what makes the place interesting or why you are going to write. Mm. Okay, please include this. And for the body part, describe the place, the site, or any other attraction. Don't just write about that one particular, uh, one particular place. So what is around that area? Yeah, give your impression of the place and describe your feeling. Please include yourself when you are writing about this place. And conclusion, sum up your opinion by making a general comment about the place or by expressing your feeling. Okay, for article, the idea. Why idea? Yeah, idea is about, uh, yeah, it can be about exercise, it can be about healthy, eating healthily. Yeah? Mm. Give general information about the topic, refer to what makes the topic interesting or why you are going to write about, yeah? And then state reason, include the advantage or benefit of the idea that you are writing, for example, just now, health, yeah? Uh, conclusion, state your general opinion on the topic. Mm -hmm. So bear in mind, still got introduction, still got body, still got conclusion. Okay, so when we are writing, yeah, you are encouraged to use simple, compound, and complex sentences. So this is a must for you to put inside your writing for part three. Must have complex, okay. complex sentences. Okay. All right. Be straightforward still because we don't All want right. to beat around the bush. Okay. Yes, you can put explanation and whatnot, which is very important. Yeah. Include cohesive devices with appropriate usage and organize your okay. thoughts. All right, sir. So maybe you could share with us, like for all the students watching today who are about to sit for the SPM paper, maybe you have some words of advice or tips for them to score better. Okay. Do share. Uh -huh. So which is very good uh. to our last slide. Yeah. Always go through your answer again to check on the spelling error, missing points and grammar. We want to focus on the points first. Okay. So please try to put as many points as possible while at the same time looking at the spelling errors and check your 
uh, grammar because consistency, consistency is key. key. There you have it, students. I hope that you learn a lot for English paper two for part three. I want to say thank you very much, Mr. Hanin, for what you shared, the tips and strategies. I'm more confident in answering even though I don't have to, but I'm sure the, those students who are watching are more confident as well. I just want to say to everyone watching, all the best for your SPM. We will see you again here on Direct TV KPM. Bye. So, so A, P.